Yes, hi and hello everyone. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CBSE Class 11 Applied Mathematics. So for the past two sessions, two video lessons, we have been seeing this topic time and work. We have already completed chapter 1 and chapter 2. So in chapter 1 we saw the comparison between manpower and time. Then the relation between manpower, time and work, everything we saw there, we solved some problems also based on those concepts. And in chapter 2, what we saw? In chapter 2, we saw how to work a time and work problem in two ways, by fraction method and by unitary method. We also had a comparison between the methods and we also saw how to work the problem in both the methods. And it is up to you to follow which method you have, you feel comfortable. And yes, following those chapters, here in chapter 3, we are about to see another variety of time and work concept, which is about different groups of people. Yes, regarding this concept also, based on this concept also, you will be getting questions from this time and work in your CBSE class 7 questions. And see, when you deal with these types of question, how your question will be is, you will have different types of, I mean, different groups you will have. That is, you will have this many men, this many women, this many boys, they do the work. Or you have different types of machines you may have. So these are all some different varieties. When we go work the questions, you will be getting detailed information about that. So when a question is given on this types of different groups, how come you approach it? What approach you take to solve the question? How to get the answer? All these things are what we are going to see here. And for which we are going to take a sample question and using that question you are going to learn how to approach the the solving way when you are getting a question based on this different groups yes here we go let's directly get into the question given to us six men or nine boys can complete a work in 44 days then how long will it take for 25 men and 12 boys to complete the same work so this is what I just explained in the intro. So you will have, you will find different groups in the question. So the same way is what we have this question also. So let's just take down what are all the things which are given to us. So first of all, it is given that six men or nine boys, be careful with, it, with this word or, okay. Six men or nine boys can complete a work in 44 days. So this is what is given in the first part of this question, right? So let's just take a note of it. So six men, or nine boys either this team or this team they can complete the given work in 44 days so this is what is given and let's just carefully see what is given in the second part of the question then how long will it take for 25 men and 12 boys so here again this word and is very very important so the first part of this question we had the word or between these two groups Whereas if you see the second part, you have the word and, right? So 25 men and 12 boys to complete the same work. So each and every word that you see in this question, that matters. Okay, yes, that makes sense. So just take it down again. So what if 25 men and 12 boys? So this time it is not or, it is and, right? So they will take how many days to complete the same work this is going to be this question fine everything is okay so this is what i said in the intro part that you will involve different groups in this question so in this case see this question you have two different groups group of men and group of boys is it or not so this is what you will have two different groups and the way to approach this type of question is going to be much simpler if i want to tell it in words what we actually do here is we have to convert all as in terms of one single group. This is what we should try. Or if I want to be more precise, how I can explain this is we have men and we have boys in this question, right? So what we should try to do is we should either replace this boys as men and change this entire group as men itself. Or otherwise we should try the other way. That is we should replace this men as boys and we have to convert this entire team into boys. I hope it is clear to you. 
so that it would be very very easy for us to follow and get the answer right so this is what we are going to do now on the way of solving this problem yes fine now let us just get into the solving part so start from this very first information given to us six men or nine boys can complete a work in 44 days so that means either six men work or either nine boys work right the meaning should be very clear either six men work a group of six men work or a group of nine boys work individually this group or this group they can complete the work in 44 days this is the meaning okay yeah that's what i'm noting it separately so group of six men their work they can complete that work in 44 days or in other words if the work is to be assigned for nine boys that group even will finish the same work in 44 days so this is clear so with the manpower if i want to compare what i can do here is i can very well equate this six man team to this nine boys team you're able to accept this fine why because six man work also they take 44 days if nine boys work also it, it is taking the same duration right 44 days in that case this manpower is same as this manpower so i am trying to get a relation between men men and boys here in this question so if i do that what happens is six men is equal to nine boys i would get and if i want to simplify this yes i can very well simplify so i think both these sides i can divide by three is it or not i can i can just treat it as an equation so both these sides i can divide by three so that what happens i can get 6 by 3 this side i will get 2 men this would imply 2 men is equal to this side if i divide by 3 9 by 3 this becomes 3 boys so i can equate 2 men is equal to 3 boys that is the strength of or the efficiency of 2 men will be the same as the efficiency of 3 boys on the right hand side i think this is clear to you so i'm just comparing 2 men is equal to 3 boys what if i ask the question what is 1 man equal to you can even tell the answer for that then one man will be equal to three by two boys or 1.5 boys if you just imagine it practically it won't be possible so how come you can compare one man with one and a half boys so practically it is not possible practically you can't see 1.5 boys that is not possible but efficiency you can compare the efficiency efficiency is nothing but the amount of work done per unit time that's all okay so that manpower wise you can compare so if i just do the comparison i can very well say two men's power is same as is equivalent to three boys power man power i can very well say that so now you brought this one now the way of answer is going to be answering is going to be very very simple let's see how we are continuing and get the answer it's going to be very simple again come to the question part in question what is this asked to, asked for us to find in this question we are asked to find 25 men and 12 boys if a team of 25 men and 12 boys are going to work then how long will it take for this team to complete the same work this is our question fine so what i told in the beginning part what i said is we are going to replace one of them by the other and we are going to convert the entire team as one single group the same thing is what now we are going to do by what through which factor through this comparison we are going to do that now the task is going to be very simple right because now see here i very well know that two men's power is equal to three boys power so now what i'm going to do is take this 12 boys this 12 boys you can take this 12 boys now what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this 12 boys and i'm going to replace them by men so i'm going to express this 12 boys in terms of men that's what i'm going to do see here if two men is equal to three boys just think of just think of 12 boys will be equal to how many men just think of that how much it would be it's very simple right three boys and here we have 12 boys i know that three boys is equal to in terms of men it is equal to two men i know that and 12 boys will be equal to how many men that's what i want just treat it as an equation that's what i told see here this three boys and 12 boys it's exactly four times is it or not three fours are will give you 12 i can even express so that you can clearly understand it so three fours are will give you this 12 do the same here on this left hand side also two fours are just try to do two fours are this will give you eight men is it or not because i have two men here 
two fours are will give you eight men. So that means now I got a link or now I got a comparison for 12 boys. I can now very clearly express 12 boys is equal to how many men? Yes, see here 12 boys is now equal to eight men. That's it. So I can very well substitute it here. So 25 men and now this 12 boys is no more 12 boys. I'm going to replace it as eight men. Yes, eight men. This team is going to complete the work in how many days? This is going to be my question. Now 25 men and eight men. Now I got both like quantities. I mean men here, men here. Now I can add them up, right? Because it's like 25 men and eight men. I can add it directly so, it, so that I would get 25 plus eight would be 33 right so 33 men so 33 men would complete the same work in how many days this is my question i hope it is clear to you so just try to clearly understand it so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to get a relation between manpower between these boys and men that we tried we got a link here we got a relation here and we use that relation and we substitute it here and this will help us to convert the entire thing and we try to express it in terms of one single group either everything as in terms of man or everything in terms of boys that's what we tried so this example this question this way of working out what we tried we are trying the entire thing this entire thing i've changed into man itself i mean the entire thing is turned now into 33 men very simple okay so now our question is very simply if six men or nine boys can complete a work in 44 days then 33 men would complete the same work in how many days this is all that's all that is our question okay now in order to answer this just go rewind to our first chapter i mean our first chapter what concept you have seen there we were we clearly saw the relation between manpower and time there itself right so that manpower time concept is was is, is that is what we are going to use now okay so we very well know that six men or nine boys that's what we separately we have written here so like take this alone because now we have changed the entire thing into men itself right so that means this this first relation alone is enough for us now our question is six men takes 44 days to complete the work then for 33 men 33 men would take how many days to complete the same work this is our question so we'll take this to be some x days and I'm taking it to be some X. So what I can do is I clearly know the relation, right? This is the first one and this is the second one. I know the relation. What's the relation? Manpower into time is always a constant that I know, right? So in that case, what I can do, I can just frame an equation, right? This is M1, six into, this is T1, 44, is same as here M2, 33 into T2, which is X. Now I can solve for X, X is equal to, 6 into 44 by 33 so if i try that if i want to complete it i can cancel this in 11 tables this is 11 fours are and here we have 11 threes are uh, then again i can cancel 6 and uh, this 3 3 twos are is 6 and 2 fours are would give you 8 so finally our answer what we are getting is this 33 men can complete the same work in how many days eight days so our answer to this question is eight days. I hope it is clear to you. So carefully see this. We have this one. This is what is given in the question. From here we start, we get a relation and we try to change the entire thing in terms of men. And what I did is I took the initial information like six men can do the work in 44 days and 33 men can complete the same work in how many days? That's all. I got the answer to be eight days. So answer to this question is eight days. I think I have filled the board. Uh, very randomly so let me let me write, write the answer very se separately so in order to have a differentiation so answer to this question is eight days is the answer have a look once again so that you can get a uh, uh, clarity on how we work this question yes i hope you are clear with the concept that we have seen here in this session and also you are clear with the problem how we solved it based on a question when is given based on different groups of people so i hope it is clear to you and as usual if any doubts you have you are welcome to post it in the comments and when i see them i will see that i'll, I'll verify your uh, doubts whatever you get and again in the next session we'll catch up with another different concept from the same time and work and see you soon there thank you so much